Welcome to Newsmakers. My name is Sean Smith. I'm the Assistant Director of Community Relations for Cheshire County Public Schools. Join us today, Tyler Granham. Welcome to you, Tyler. Hi, how are you? Great. It's great to have you with us. Um, for our viewers out there, you are a student at James River High School. We're going to talk today about a, a very special project you've done at Ecoff Elementary. Yeah. Um, but to kind of kick us off, tell us about, obviously, we know based on how you've joined us today that you're involved in the Scouts program. Talk a little about kind of your involvement with the Scouts and some of your hobbies. Yeah, um, I've, I've been in the Scouts since I was in, I think, first grade. I was joined as a Tiger Club, and that, or Tiger Cub, and I've just, I've gone through to Life Scout, and I'm actually going to be an Eagle Scout by the end of the year. And I've just, I've had fun, and it's actually, it's, I've gained an interest in camping and mountain biking and rock climbing through it, so it's a lot of fun being a Scout. And then obviously uh, you've been in there for some time, but really scouting, obviously, um, I never was an Eagle Scout myself, but I've been involved in some of the program. Yeah. But uh, really you've got some interest from there, but what has it kind of meant to you? I'm sure you also met a lot of great folks obviously being involved in scouts. Yeah, actually a couple of, um, like my Scoutmaster, he's not my current Scoutmaster, but he was, his name's Mark Wheeler. He's helped me a lot through life. And then I also have, my Cub Scout leader was uh, Teresa Stewart and she's, She's still a friend of mine, even though she's an adult, she's a friend of mine, and I talk to her about things throughout, even now. And I'm actually going to be gaining my rank of Eagle with her two boys, which is how I met her. So. Now, obviously, in the scouting program, obviously, becoming an Eagle Scout is really prestigious, but there's a lot of hard work, clearly, that goes into it. Yeah. Talk, I mean, there's so much that goes into it, but kind of broadly, tell us about kind of what's required to get there. Um, well, first of all, to get to Eagle Scout, you have to have 21, to, have, to get to there, you have to have 21 merit badges. And it's t it's ten eagle required and then eleven non eagle required, and the eagle required are a lot more intensive and require a lot more work. It's like you either have to do one of the ones is swimming, hiking, or uh, biking. You have to do one of them, and I did swimming because I'm I like the water, and I did it at summer camp. And then there's also emergency preparedness, first aid, and stuff like that. And then the other merit badges that you can do, the other eleven are just anything that you want to do. So I have snow sports because I've snowboarded since I was eight years old and rifling rifle merit badge and stuff like that. Right. Now, obviously, the we talked about today, obviously, and you just came from Ecoff Elementary as we're taping this, but tell us the project itself and really how you came to determine that's a project you wanted to do. Um, well, I didn't want to just build benches because a lot of Eagle Scout projects, they, it's, they are not dumbed down, but they aren't what I would like to do. I like to, I like to go all out if I'm going to do something. So I, I was talking to my parents at my brother's soccer game, f trying to find a project, and Miss Glass overheard and said, hey, we're building a pond. We have one there currently, but we wanted to build a pond. And maybe you could help us out. And I went over and I looked, and they had a two foot by three foot pond, and it was really overrun. You probably already saw the pictures of it. It, it, doesn't, it looks like a hole in the ground, basically. It was uh, decrepit for about two years. It didn't have water in it or anything. So basically, I planned uh, for an 11 foot by eight foot pond, and it was about gonna be three feet deep. I got shot down on three feet deep because little kids water electricity for the pump, not a good mix. So Fair we enough. brought it up to 18 inches. And then um, after that, basically it took on the shape of a 24 foot stream going towards it. And it was three feet high, actually getting the, the, the wall in so kids could play in it was actually the hardest part because we had to level out the whole castle stones on the ground with concrete. And then just it evolved from there basically. So. And as you think about the project, really, what was kind of the most rewarding part of uh, this whole project? Um, well, I started last, or last year, actually, in October. So I started um, around this time trying to look for a project. And once I finally found one, I was supposed to be done spring break. I was supposed to start working, be done by spring break. And then approvals, trying to get approvals set in. And it took a little bit longer than I was hoping for. And I actually, I didn't, I didn't want to go through with the project because it took so long to get the approvals done. But once I actually did and finish the project, getting, having that accomplished of finishing it, going, even going through all that was, it felt really good. Well, we're almost out of time, about 20 seconds, but you're now even I think maybe thinking about utilizing this experience as you go through higher education, maybe even thinking about a career of some sorts in this. Yeah, it's, I, I had a lot of fun building it. It's not my first career choice, but it's definitely a backup if I needed it. So it was a lot of fun to do. Well, thanks so much for being here. Great project, great success, obviously, working with the Scout program, and we'll have to have you back another time and more about your successes here. Thank you. And thank you to our viewers. Please join us next time, more about Chesterfield County Public Schools.